بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاه والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته موضوع اليوم سوف يكون مشيئه الله تعالى عن الكلام المباشر والكلام غير المباشر معنى كيف تحول الجمله من كلام مباشر الى كلام غير مباشر اي اذا شخص ما تكلم عن موضوع ما وتريد ان تنقل هذا الكلام او هذا التقرير او هذا الخطاب الى شخص اخر فيما بعد فمن هنا هناك قواعد واسس اللغه الانجليزيه يجب ان نتعلمها هي بسيطه جدا باذن الله في هذا الفيديو سوف نتعرف على الكثير منها وهي الاساس في الموضوع اذا هنا معنا why do we use rewarded speech as we said sometimes someone says something or a sentence for example i'm going to the university today okay now the first person is saying i'm going to the university today When anybody else asks you about the speech of that person who said to you, I'm going to the university today, you will report the speech to that person. And here we can say, he says he is going to the university. إذن في البداية قال أنا ذاهب إلى المدرسة أو إلى الجامعة اليوم عندما أقول أنا معناته هو الشخص أو المتكلم الأول فعندما نتكلم عن ما تحدث به هذا المتكلم إلى أشخاص آخرين أو فيما بعد ننقل ننقل تقرير عن ننقل خطابه إلى الآخرين كيف سنحول؟ هو قال I لأنه بيتكلم عن نفسه لكن عندما ننقل عن ماذا سوف نقول؟ هو إذا كان رجل وإذا كانت امرأة هي إذا هنا كان المتكلم رجل فقلنا في الجملة الذي هي في الكلام المنقول أو المقرر أو الكلام الغير المباشر قلنا هو إيش؟ إذا ها نطبق قاعدة البريزنت سيمبل لأن المقرر الأول وضعها في الزمن المضارع البسيط. He says. Okay. Then the sentence as it is. He is going to the university. هو ذاهب إلى الجامعة. اليوم هنا لأن القاعدة تقول إذا كان المتكلم في أو رافع التقرير أو ناقل الخطاب يتكلم أو يعرف بالجملة في زمن الحاضر أو المضارع فتبقى الجملة على ما هي بنفس الزمن الذي تكلم بها المتكلم الأول بمعنى in English he said the first person The first speaker, he said, "I'm going to the university today." So here is here he is talking in the present continuous. Okay, and then the reported or the introducing verb is in the present simple. We can add, "He says." Then when we report it to the indirect speech to tell others what he has said, we can say, "He says." We take he and we put it and says directly as it is, and instead of I, we put he because now we are talking about him. He's not yet talking about himself. Then we complete the sentence as it is in the same tense. Here we have that at the end of the sentence that day, that and this and today we'll come to them later on in the table diagram later on. Here we have the rule. We use the reporting verb like say, to, claim, state, whatever. But if this verb is in the present tense, here's the rule. Here it is easy. We just what he says or she says or they say or we say or you say, and then the sentence directly in the same tense of the converted speech. Here we have examples. Direct and indirect speech. In the first sentence, in the case of the direct speech, in bracket or in converted commas, we said, "I perform an operation." He says. See, the sentence in bracket of the first speaker, the direct speech, is in the present simple, and we have the reporting verb. He says, the introducing verb. He says in the present simple. So here it is very simple. When we report it, we can say here down. He says we take he says as it is. 
Then we add, instead of I, as we said previously, he. Now we are talking about him. He's not yet talking about himself. He performs because the first sentence was in the present simple. And now we have to continue in the sentence because the reporting verb, he says, is in the present. Okay. He performs an operation. We complete the sentence in the sentence, the first speaker or of the direct speech. And that's it. Here, when the introductory verb is in the past tense, some verbal changes are required. Here is the issue. Here is the question. When the introductory verb, the reporting verb, is in the past, we have talked about the introductory verb in the present. That doesn't make any change in the sentence regarding the tense. So the tense remains the same in direct speech and in the indirect speech, in the reported speech, by the way. But here, when the reporting speech, عندما يكون الكلام الغير المباشر أو الفعل الغير المنقول أو المقرر به, reporting verb, reporting verb, when, we, when it is in the past, for example, instead of saying he says, or she says, or they say, we say, we say uh, he said. Or they said it is in the past tense here the sentence in the brackets or in the converted commas inside among the converted commas will be changed in the regard of the following uh, rules of the tenses based on the tenses so here direct speech first when it is in the present when the reported speech, I mean, when the direct speech in the present simple. Here, when we report it to the indirect speech, we change it to the past simple. Present continuous can be changed into past continuous. Present perfect to the past perfect. Past simple to past perfect. Past continuous to past perfect continuous. Past perfect to past perfect. Future symbol to conditional, future con uh, continuous, to f conditional continuous, future perfect, to conditional perfect, and conditional to conditional. Here, we have some changes as well in the expression of time and place. Okay, here we have some rules that we can change some words. Wording changes. For example, in the direct speech, if the first speaker in the direct speech use the word today, when we report it, when we change it to the indirect speech, we said that day instead of today. Then tonight to that night, yesterday, the day before, or the previous day, and so on and so forth till we uh, reach the end here, we can change it to there. They are uh, written in the PPT. The, uh, down the video clip. Here, some examples for each and every tense. To clarify the doubts or to prove the hardness of using the reported speech depending on each and every tense or each and every usage of the tense. Present simple, see in the present simple. But here, the reporting, remember that, please, the reporting verb is in the past. We simply said, when the reporting verb is in the present simple, is in the present, the, when we report the sentence, which is in the direct speech to the reporting speech, the sentence remains in the same tense. Whether it is in the present simple, present continuous, present perfect, past, whatever it is. So it remains the same. But when it is, or by means it is here, is that the reporting verb, he said, or she said, or they said, is in the past. When the reporting verb in, is in the past, here we can follow these rules. In the present symbol, I like ice cream, he said. When we report it, we can say, she said she liked ice cream. Hear that in brackets. You can use it or 
No, there is no any great sense for the, that word in this case. But you can use it as you wish. So here only when you change the direct speech to the indirect speech and the reporting verb was in the past, as we said, she said, here we add she liked because we in the first table we said that when the direct speech is in the present simple in the reported speech we change it to the past to the past simple okay هنا نطبق القواعد قاعدة تلو الأخرى في زمن الماضي المضارع البسيط نحولها إلى الماضي البسيط المضارع المستمر إلى الماضي المستمر و وهكذا دواليك إلى نهاية بقي القواعد سوف نرى لكل زمن سوف نضع جملة في زمن المتكلم سواء كان في الماضي أو في الحاضر أو في المستقبل وسوف نرى كيف سوف نحولها إلى الكلام الغير المباشر أو الخطاب الغير المباشر وذلك باتباع القواعد الزمنية في حالة ما يكون الفعل فعل التقرير في الماضي أي هي سات أو شي سات فعل التقرير كان في الماضي نتبع هذا القواعد أما إذا كان فعل التقرير في الحاضر فلا يوجد أي تغيير نهائيا في الزمن ولا لهذه القواعد أي صلة بهذا الشيء إلا في حالة الكلمات الـ wording changes that day, today that day the, uh, here there now then these are compulsory in both the cases Okay, then present continuous, we have an example. I'm operating a surgery on the patient. For example, I call the door, hey doctor, please open the door. He, he'll say to me, I'm busy, I'm operating a surgery on the patient. When I report, for example, to the manager of the hospital or somebody else or any attendant of the patient or his friend, the patient's friend, I can say, the doctor said, or the doctor said, or she said, she was operating a surgery on the patient. See, from the present continuous to the past continuous. Present perfect. I haven't seen the scarp nurse when we report it. She says she hadn't seen the scarp nurse from present perfect to the past perfect, simply. Okay? Here, there is a rule. It is a repetition, actually. And it says, if the reporting verb is in the past tense, then usually we change the tenses in the reported speech. See the examples. The written speech, I perform an operation, he said. So, see the difference. Please pay attention. Now we said the same sentence we used previously in the present reporting verb. But here, we use the same sentence, I perform an operation in the past reporting verb. في فعل التقرير في الماضي. He said. بالرغم أن كلامه كان بيتكلم في زمن البسيط لكن التقرير أتى في زمن الماضي. إذا هنا in the following sentence we can observe in the following reported speech we can observe that. He said, we take it as it is, I'm bored. He performed from present simple to the past simple. An operation. Okay. Here, if you can observe, we have also I brought a syringe, past simple, we change it to the past perfect. Maybe the doctor was asking about the scarf as we uh, as I stated earlier. Now she asked her. Where were you? She said, I brought a syringe. I brought a syringe. For injection, maybe. And when we report this Kavna's speech to somebody else, we can say, she said she had brought a syringe. Here we have to take into consideration the irregular verbs. The past participle of the verb. Bring, brought, brought. Okay, then from the bus simple to the bus perfect. Bus continuous. I was walking along the hospital when we reported. She said she had been walking along the hospital. From bus continuous to bus perfect continuous when we change it into the reported speech. Okay, past perfect. I had taught medical lessons before when we reported. 
When we change it to the direct speed, to the indirect speed, we can say, she said she had taught medical lessons before. Okay, so here, past perfect remain past perfect. No change. We'll uh, say later on uh, some rules for some uh, modal verbs, including the past perfect, in which we can uh, change or we are not in need to change the tense of the sentence from the direct to the indirect speech. And here we observe, I had taught medical lessons before, only we are adding the reporting uh, verb and the reporting pronoun, she said, she had taught medical lessons before. So both the, sentence, the sentences are in the past perfect. Okay, now, uh, also here we have uh, some uh, modal verbs. For example, in future, uh, we have will, we have would, we have can, we have could, we have shall, we have should, and might and must. In the cases, take it for granted. Bus perfect, would, should, could, must, might. These six, these six words or modal verbs, when we use them, or with the, report, uh, with the direct speech, in these cases, we are not in need to change the tense. Absolutely. Okay. So here the first example is, well, I'll see you later. I'll see you tomorrow, for example. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. When we change it, he said he would see me later. So future symbol to conditional. Word, conditional. But when it is in the case of word, I would help, but, I would help, but, she said she would help, but, see, here, she said she would help, but, no change at all, there is no change at all, can, there is a change, we change it to the past, can is in the present symbol, the past uh, will be could, I can speak perfect English, he said he could speak perfect English, could will remain the same. I could swim when I was four. He said he could swim when we reported to somebody else. He said it. He could swim when he was four. Shall, I shall come later. He said he should. We change it to the conditional. Also, should come later. Should will remain the same. I should call my doctor. She said she should call her doctor. In the first, in the direct speech, she said, because the first speaker is talking about himself, is talking about his doctor or her doctor, she said, I should call my, my doctor. When we change my, if the person is male, it will be his. If it is female, it will be her. So we can uh, notice in the following sentence that she says she should call her doctor. So we change it from my into her. Clear? Okay. Might and must. Might will remain the same, must will remain the same, and there is exceptions, or, or there is an exception in must. Oh, sorry. Might, I might be late. He said he might be late. Actually, the pronoun will be changed because we are not yet talking, uh, the first speaker, we are talking about the first speaker, the first speaker is not yet talking about himself or herself. So we change it. Instead of I, we use hey. He said he might be late. No change at all in the verb. Must. I must study at the weekend. He said he must study at the weekend. So there's no change. But here's an exception. An exception, as we said. He said he had to. Had to can be used in the reported speech instead of must. But simply you can use must. Okay. There is no problem at all in this regard. Here we have reporting or reporting questions. But what are these questions? These questions are WH questions. WH questions. How can we report them? How can we change the questions from the, from the, from the direct speech to the indirect speech or to the reported speech? Let us see. The same way regarding the tenses, regarding the reporting verb, whether it is in the present or in the past. If it is in the past, we have understood the rules and regulations. 
and if it is in the present, it is simply can be uh, can be reported in the sentence. Okay, here the first example in the direct speech. Where do you study? When we change it to the reported or to the indirect speech, we can say he asked me. So the verb asked. He asked me. It is in the past. He asked me where where the same word we can take it after we he asked me or she asked me or they asked me where I studied we remove do does did these verbs verb to do we can remove it and directly we can observe in which tense the sentence is structured or used then we directly follow the rules that we have already taught you in this video particularly. So here, where I studied, he, he said, where do you study? Here the question is in the present simple. The reported speech, when we report, when we change the sentence or the statement to the, uh, or the question to the reported or to the indirect speech, the rule says that present simple, if the reporting verb is in the past, present simple can be changed into past simple. So past symbol of the verb study, it will be studied. Okay, where I studied, because we are telling people what he asked me, or what he had asked me. Where do you study? When I reported, he asked me where, where I studied. Where is your lab couch? He asked me, or she asked me, in the questions, use these terms. He asked me, she asked me, they asked me, you asked me. He, he asked me where we take also the verb, WH, question where or keyword, I put it. He asked me where my lab count was. Because is there, we can put it at the end. Because now it is not yet a question, it becomes statement. But here we have your. Previously we talk about my and then we change it into her. And sometimes if the speaker is male, we can change it to his, his doctor, we said. And here, your lab coat, and can be changed into my, my. Where is your lab coat? You can say, my lab coat. He asked me where my lab coat was. Okay, you understand even uh, these uh, possessive adjectives. Where are you? What are you doing? The third question. He asked me what I was doing. See, the tense is changed from present continuous to the past continuous. And everything is clear there, as we said previously. What is this patient? Who, who is this patient? The fourth question. Who is this patient? These are uh, just examples to uh, make clear or and fix the ideas for you. What is this patient? Or who is this patient? Who is this patient? For example, any visitor coming to the hospital and you are there as doctors or assistants and ask you, who is this patient? You will say that to the doctor or to the manager, he will ask you, what did the visitor say? You will say, because he asked you the question, who is the patient? Who is this patient? You will tell your manager, he asked me who that patient had been. Who that patient had been. Because here the... Uh, uh, where this can be changed to that, as we told you previously, and you can follow the rule easily. Another questions, yes or no questions, yes, no questions, without what, without when, without where, without who, without which. Okay, here we have another rule. We have a conditional word if I and if letters can be used. If condition, it means even. فيما إذن إذا كان على نحو سير. Do you study pharmacy? When you report it, when you tell somebody what the first person uh, has asked you, you will tell him. He asked me if. See here. Keep it in mind that. The word if is compulsory in this case. In yes, no questions. Okay, it is the difference between WH questions in the reported speech and yes, no questions in the reported speech. He asked me if I studied pharmacy for the test 
it remained the same rule as we told you on all the previous examples. Have you ever been to Wuhan? Wuhan is in China actually, but he is asking you whether you visit Wuhan or not. And the question is that, have you ever been to Wuhan? When you report the speech, when you change it to the indirect speech or to the reported speech, you can say, he asked me if I had either been to Wuhan. We change it from uh, the present perfect to the past perfect, simple, okay. Are you watching this online class now? Maybe I'm asking you. Right now, I'm asking you. Are you watching this online class now? Yes, of course. And your reported, uh, reporting speed will be like that. When anybody asks you, what did your doctor ask? What is the question of your doctor? You will say, you will change my question to the reported speed, to the indirect speed. You will say, he said, or, or, I mean, he asked, because it's a question here, I'm so sorry. He asked me if I was watching the online class then. If is there, the verbing changes from the present continuous to the, uh, to the past continuous is there. Instead of this online, we said that online class. And instead of now, in the report we use then. Okay, I think it's clear up to now. Here, report, reported requests. When anybody requests you, please, sir, please help me, please do this and this, please. Okay, so here we have direct in the first column, direct speech and the other reported speech. And the report, we can say reported requests. Reported requests. First, we have three statements or three uh, uh, requested questions, uh, if it might be. First, or statement, close the window, please, or could you close the window, please, or would you mind closing the window, please, would you mind closing the window, please, the answer is one, when you report it to the past. He asked me to, here, pay attention to the preposition to, and, 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 and here, to, focus on it, memorize it, and it is, the compulsory or the necessary word to use in the reported request. So here, he asked me to close the window. Okay, clear. Please help me. When you tell anybody what that person requested you, he requested you. يعني ترجعك لشيء أو طلب منك شيء وتريد أن تقول للآخرين أو لأبوك أو لأستاذك ماذا طلب منك ماذا ترجع منك أن تساعد تقول هو طلب مني المساعدة طلب مني أن أساعد هنا he said, please help me in the direct speech. I want to tell somebody else what he has said to me. I'll tell him, he asked me to help him. He asked me to help him. Okay, the other question is in, in the negative case. He said, please don't smoke her. When we report it, when he changed it to the indirect speech, we said, we can say, I mean, he asked me not to smoke there. هو طلب مني بأن لا أدخن هناك. Okay. Reported orders. Reported orders. Ordering. أوامر. هنا الفرق ما بين الريكوست والأوردر إن الريكوست هو الرجاء أو التوسال أو الطلب بطريقة مهذبة. More polite way. Order that you come from the superior to inferior in the restaurant from client to the waiter or the waitress, something like this. But we prefer this way when there is no this statement or the word or the phrase please, we can follow this way or this rule. Reported orders in the direct speech in the first column and here in the reported speech or the reported orders we can say. The direct order, sit down. When you told somebody what he has uh, said to you or what she has said to you, you can tell him or tell them, he told me to sit down. Some grammarians may say that you can say he ordered me to sit down. And it's right, both the ways are correct. But we prefer talk. Okay, no worry, both the ways are correct as we said. Get out. He told me to, see, pay attention into the preposition to, to get out. 
Be on time. He told me to be on time. And the same statement can be followed. Don't come in. He told me not to go in. He, we have slight changes. First, it is in the negative case. So he said don't. So here we use not. After he told me the reporting statement. Then we complete the uh, speech with using not. Then two. Okay, this is in the negative case. Go in. In the first statement, in the direct speech, he said, don't come in because you want to come in to his room, to his flat, to his to the hall, to the gallery, whatever. He didn't ask you to be in. Okay, so you were going to in. So now, when you report the speech, it is not proper to say, he told me not to come in. No, you were going. But for the person who told you not to come in, you were coming to him. But for you, you were going. So you use the word in your position. He told me not to go on. Okay, clear. If there are any questions, don't hesitate to ask me or contact your uh, delegate or monitor and ask me in WhatsApp and at any time. I'll answer and my answer will be in the next lecture initially before I get it started the next lecture I'll answer all your questions and clear all your doubts here we have also uh, an assignment if you can observe it here it is uh, your assignment assignment means homework but as far as you are at home you can say assignment it's proper no worry, whatever. Sit two or three or more examples in every example I have given. I have sit or given examples, many examples, and two or three examples at least for each row. For each and every example, in each and every tense, you have to give two or three examples as assignment for practice. And please read, uh, I want you. To read these statements because they are very important in the first statement it is that if you can observe it now right now fact in the present can act fact in the present can act actually in the reported speech when you are reporting facts because uh, if I uh, uh, inform you that the, the earth is round, the earth is round, and you want to report my speech, you want to tell others what I have said. You say, our doctor told us, see, our doctor told us that the earth is round. Even if you said he said or she said, it doesn't matter, because the facts can remain the same without any changes in the present simple okay الحقائق طبعا حتى عندما ننقلها من الكلام المباشر الى الكلام غير المباشر تبقى كما هي في زمن المضارب okay the next statement watch it till you catch it these are just advice watch it till you catch it it means watch three more three four five six ten times till you understand it don't watch it once or two times, twice, you say, okay, I feel bored, I can understand, or it is enough to watch it two times. No. Watch it till you catch it. Watch it two, three, four times, uh, uh, even 20 times, till you understand it well, till you realize perfectly, till you perceive it well. Okay. So it is audiovisual aid, and the audiovisual aid is a very perfect technique through to watch it again and again if we are in the class i'll teach you once if you forget that's your own responsibility but now you can watch it again and again okay so there is no any excuse for anybody watch it even 10 times and if you have any doubt or question you can send it to me directly or send it to your monitor and they will contact me to clear your doubts and to answer questions and to be as we said uh, in the next video or on the next lecture, the, I mean the answers. Here, watch it thrice at least and take notes. So try to write down.
احنا كما قلنا وكما دوما انصح طلابي بانهم ماذا؟ العلم صيد والكتابه قيده. اذا كتبت وقف الفيديو واكتب الجمله وطبقها واعيد وكرر وانت بتكتب. إذا كتبت رسخت المعلومة لديك وما تنساهاش بسهولة. أوكي. Then the last statement take it fresh to nourish. Take it fresh to nourish. Means if we follow the lectures, lecture by lecture or class by class, we will understand them well and it will be simple for us to follow them all during or throughout the semester. But if we neglect them, Till the end of the semester, then at that time, you watch them all. That will be hush, pull, hush, push watching and no understandability. And please take these advices into considerations and follow the lectures, write down, ask questions, and we hope you a good time studying, hitting the box. And thank you very much for paying attention and hope you write down the assignments.